Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Central Valley versus Pacheco Varsity football game. Pacheco will be kicking. Tonight in the booth, we have me, Danny Garcia, broadcasting, and Chris Aranda broadcasting with me, too. How are you doing, Chris? Uh, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, as the American Legion makes their way, please stand up before the national anthem. This is VW Post 2487, under the direction of Betty Dorito, Robert Strzok, to Valentine, Christian Vasquez, Jess Medino. Tonight, singing our national anthem, the Pacheco High Junior, Judah Jones. In case you missed that, that was Judah Jones singing the National Anthem, who plays second in the Pacheco's talent show. And now it's time for Pacheco's defense. Maurice Harden, class of 2015. Anthony Ravaz, aka Gonzo, class of 2014. Miano Elementary. My name is Cody, aka Wolverine, uh, class of 2013. Alex Torres Lopez, class of 2014. Guillermo Perez, class of 2013. Robert Burkhart, senior, linebacker, Los Banos Elementary. Frank Gilda, class of 2015. Victor Cortez, class of 2014, Moreno Falasco Elementary. Andrew Hardy, class of 2015.
uh, Pacheco's will be receiving the ball. And that was Paul Parks receiving the ball. And now, for, huh? for Central Valley, that was Rodriguez with the kickoff. And now time for Chico's even offense. I don't know. I will be showing Pacheco's offense. Adam Perez, class of 2014. Maurice Harden, class of 2015. Hunter Mendez, I went to R.M. Miano Elementary, class of 2014. Paul Parks, running back, class of 2013. Kalam Kumoku, 2015. Jacob Parks, senior, class of 2013. Juan Truffles Trevillo, class of 2013. Jesse Cortez, class of 2015, Grand Fosco Elementary. Victor Cortez, class of 2014, Grand Fosco Elementary. Wider Roscoe, class of 2014, Palace Elementary. Second and five for Pacheco. Ball's on the 25. Adam in motion. And who's that? Kalama Komoku with that run. Making it Pacheco first down. Balls on the 36. And it's a give to Komoku. Looks like a tackle by Jesus Medina on the play for Central Valley. Second down on six on the 39 yard line for Pacheco. It looks like there's a there's an injured player for Pacheco. Looks like Kalama's injured. That that is not a good sign at all. No, it's not. Kalama ran for seven hundred and ten yards for a total of all the games. Tell me. Let's give Kamoku a big hand. Hopefully Kamoku will be all right. Looks like his right ankle. That is not good at all. Jacob Parks throws it to Maurice Harden. And it's complete. Down. First down for Pacheco. First, first and ten looks like a gain about. Maurice Harden with the reception. First down for the Panthers. 
12. They're calling it nine on the field. Nine yards. Ball's on the 52. No, four, on the 48. 48. So Parks for four yards and a couple of Central Valley Hawks on the stop. Second and seven out of the shotgun for Pacheco. Penalty on the field. Looks like against Central Valley. So with the penalty now, second and two for Pacheco. And they're coming out out of the shotgun again. The quarterback will keep it. Running to the right side of the field. And runs for about six yards. First down. A swarm of Hawks on the stop. Ball is now, well. On the 34. Looks on the 34-yard line from here. First and 10 for Pacheco. Out of the shotgun, it looks like again. Nope, it's under center. Frank Look Ginda with that run. Give us to Ginda. Hard bring down. Like a bulldozer on the field, but Central Valley has the ball. He fumbled on the play. And Pacheco's defense will go out. So after a good drive on offense for Pacheco, they'll give the Central Valley Hawks good field position on offense. On the 24 yard line for the Hawks. And a big run for Central Valley. Ball carried for about eight yards. Short of the first down, second and two for the Hawks. Second down and two for the Hawks. Abraham Navarro under center for the Hawks. And it looks like a first down. From number 33. Number 33 is not on the roster. Must be a new player. Or a guy with the New Jersey. Looks like it. Sorry, we'll just call him number 33 from now on. <laughs> well, he's doing good so far. First and 10 for the from the 35-yard line for the Hawks. Abraham Navarro, the handoff to 33, and he trips and fumbles. fumbles. I think he may be down. He was down there saying he was down. Refs are calling it down. It's all right. The crowd isn't liking it though. We'd like to remind you that tonight is Think Pink Night, where proceeds go raised go to the NFL's Crucial Catch program. And next week, we honor our senior football players with our first football senior night against Patterson. 
Looks like a false start for Central Valley. I think I saw number 52 move. A little too quickly for the offensive line. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, next week is our Veterans Appreciation Night. Any veteran will receive free admission to the game. So second and 18. Balls on there, 27. Abraham Navarro under center. And it's a give to Ben Anatalia. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Be third and ten. Ball on thirty five yard line for Central Valley. Out of the shotgun. Looks to his left. Throws deep. And Couldn't. incomplete pass. Could not hold on. It'd be fourth and ten for the Hawks. That was for Miko Uti. A lot of our names pronounced. A lot of them. So fourth and ten. It looks like Central Valley will punt. So after the fumble recovery, they'll give it right back to Pacheco. Abraham Navarro is also the punter. Jazzy with that return. And gets tackled on their own, about their own 30 yard line. Kenny Lopez with the tackle. And Pacheco's offense goes out on the field. I hope. Well, we'll see what they what they'll do for their running game. They lost a big star with Kalama Komoku, and Frank Gindo gave up gave away the ball earlier in the drive. Passes it to Adam Perez. Big play. First down and more for Pacheco. Goes about 20 yards. Parks and shotgun. Perez in motion. Hands it off to Perez. Oh. Brought down behind the line. That's a good play by Kenny Lopez for Central Valley. Loss of about six yards for Pacheco. It's going deep to the left. Oh, incomplete pass. The pass was attempted to Adam Perez. Overthrown. Third and long for Pacheco. They'll need a big play to save them.
Big play for Pacheco. But shakes off tacklers and a swarm of Central Valley Hawks. That is one tough quarterback. Well, he did what he could. He evaded some tacklers, but in the end it was too much. Fourth and long for Pacheco. That will most likely bring out their punting team. Looks like their quarterbacks are punting. So both quarterbacks for Cent Central Valley and Pacheco, they're both quarterbacks and the punters. Central Valley offense will take the field, first and 10 at the 31 yard line. off to number 33 looks like did not get much on the play tackled by a swarm of Panthers and as I look out on the sideline it looks like they're driving off Kalama Kamoku from the game Won't, looks like he won't be playing this game. That is a bad sight. Number 33 again. Did not get, I don't I believe he even lost, may have lost yardage on the play. Another swarm of Panthers to stop the run. Lost about two. They're down to 10. Third and 10. I've just been informed that they think that Kalama sprained his ankle. That is bad news for Pacheco. Yeah, especially since Kalama made nine touchdowns and averages about 7.89 yards per play. That's very impressive for a sophomore quarterback in varsity. Out of the shotgun, Central Valley. Running back. Brought down by Adam Perez. Miko Uti with the reception for the Hawks. Picks up the first down. Ball on the 44-yard line for Central Valley. Out of the shotgun, Central Valley. Looks to his left, throws a, throws a ball. Gain of about six yards. And he's tackled down by Maurice Harden. Julian Kelly there on the defense. Gain of about five. Second to five. Second and five for Central Valley with the first quarter winding down. Looks like they got a first down. Carry by Ben Anatelia. It'll be on Pacheco's 45-yard line. That should be the last play of the quarter. Well, Central Valley will try to get it off on time. Will they do it? And they do. They do. Ben Anatelia again for a gain about four yards. And that's the end of the first quarter. And now a word from our sponsor. 
Rick's Auto Body, serving the West Side's auto repair and detailing needs since 1976. Good, Good luck, luck Panthers. Panthers. Once again, we have a silent auction at the front gate. An autographed helmet from 2012 varsity team. And a winner pass good for two people to enter any home game, home winner sporting event. The bidding closes at the start of the fourth quarter. So at the start of the second quarter, second and six for Central Valley. Both teams still remain scoreless. Ball at the 41 yard line. Abraham no and a whistle. Looks like a false start on Central Valley. False start against the Hawks. So second and eleven now. Pacheco catches a small break. Ball's on the forty six. Bring him second down and eleven. Quarterback lines in shotgun formation. Gives it off to number 33, who remains nameless. And fumbles the ball at the end, but was out of bounds. Gain of about nine yards, maybe 10 on the play. Number 33. Third and one for Hawks. And it looks like a pass, scrambling. And he's sacked by number 72, Nick Vermillion. Abraham Navarro could he not go anywhere on that play. It looks like they'll keep their offense on the field and they're going to go for the first down. Fourth and four now. Abraham Navarro out of the shotgun again. And it's a pass. Under pressure, down the middle, He's incomplete down. pass. Number 40's really mad. So turnover on downs, Pacheco will have the ball at the 39 yard line, first and 10. Timeout, Central Valley on the Timeout. on the field. Central Valley Hawks. Paul Parks with that run. Maybe gained a yard. Parks 
Texas hit hard. Led there by Van Tunen for the Hawks. Be second in about eight. Flag on the play. Looks like a false start on and the check up. And it is five yard penalty. Second and 14 for Pacheco. They'll have the ball at the 35 yard line or 34. Throws it to Adam Perez. Didn't get much on that play. Third and long for Pacheco. A lot of movement movement on the line on that play. Let's see. And Pacheco will have the penalty for false start. So third and even longer for Pacheco. Third and 18. Parks leading the pass. Rolling, looking deep. And, and sacked. Parks is sacked. Pacheco's punting team goes on the field. Looks like he was hit by number 42, Nick Van, Van Tuinen. Van Tuinen. A lot of hard names to pronounce for the <laughs> Hawks. I apologize. Holding. Delay of game. Delay of game. A lot of penalties for Pacheco on this drive. It's a high punt. Another flag on the play. Penalty on Central Valley for roughing the kicker. So a re-kick for Pacheco. Angelo Bermudez, it looks like, for Central Valley to return. And he will get the chance. 
Running to the right. Looking for something. And shoved out of bounds by the Panthers. So Central Valley takes over at the 48 yard line. First and 10. Still over seven minutes to play in the half. Hawks will start their drive on the Pacheco's 49 yard line. Abraham Navarro under center. Two in the backfield, number 33 again. Big gain, might have picked up the first down for the Hawks. No, they're, they're saying he was out on the 44 yard line. So only a gain of six for the Hawks. It'll be second and four for the Central Valley Hawks. Under center, two in the backfield for the Hawks. We give this to 33. He appears to have the first down from here. Looks like 30 inches. So they're short. So Central Valley's main attack seems to be the running game. We haven't seen many passes through the air. First down for the Hawks. First and 10 at the 34 yard line, it looks. Under center, two in the backfield again for the Hawks. Two wide receivers to the left. Up the middle, that is Angelo Bermudez with a gain of about two yards. Bermudez with the carry. Brought down by Pompa there. Gain about two or three. Second down and eight. Ball on the 32 yard line for the Hawks. Fake carry and getting almost getting sacked. Picking about picking up about four and a half yards. And brought down by Omar Pampa. It's gonna be third down about six for the Hawks. The Panthers aren't even giving Abraham Navarro a chance to pass. Every time he drops back, the defenders just come in. Third and six at the 31 yard line. Two wide receivers it looks like, and two in the backfield. Hands it out to number 33. He fights and picks up the first down, move the chains. Out of bounds it looks like at the 22 yard line. He's got some moves. You saw a little spin move? Yep. 22 yard line. I don't know where they found number 33, but it looks like they got lucky. Defense! 
Jesus is also number 33 again. And number 33 is actually Jaquan Gardner, last year's Offensive Player of the Year. Moving backwards. Ben and Italia may have fumbled the ball. They're saying Pacheco ball. That's always a crowd pleaser. They'll take over at the 18 yard line, first and 10. What an enthusiastic crowd. Hands it off to Paul Parks. Not brought down easily, of course. The ball may have popped out. Looks like they're fighting for it. Central Valley says they've got it, but they're ruling them down. That would have been like the fourth fumble this whole game. It's not even the first half. I don't know if it's the ball or the players, but this ball's popping out a lot in this game. I'm not sure why either. It's not even rainy. Adam in motion. Frank Ginda with the carry. Gain of about two yards. My bad, it looks like he didn't even pick a, maybe, no, he picked up a yard. He picked up a yard, yeah. 31. At the 31 yard line. I'm guessing it's going to be a running play. With only one right receiver to the left, it sure it is a running play and a big one. Paul Parks with that amazing run. Looks like he'll pick up about 15 yards. First down. The give is to Ginda and he keeps going. He's a bulldozer. Finally brought down by a swarm of Hawks. He might have picked up the first down. Yeah, it looked like about 12 yard gain. He carried about five Hawks on his back. And it is a first down. Don't mess with that guy. Time out for who was it? Pacheco? With a minute and 45 to go in the half.
First right. and 10 at the 39-yard line. Shotgun formation, it looks like. Nope. It's an under center play. One wide receiver, two wide receivers to the left. And it's a handoff. To Paul Parks. Nothing on the left side. Tries the right side, and it's a big run. That was about a 20 yard gain. First down, that will move the chains. By a lot. This crowd looks to be fired up. Ball's on the 15. And there's only a minute and 35 seconds left in the, sec in the first half. Looks like a passing play. And it is to the left side. I'll try it first. Touchdown. Maurice Harden with that touchdown. First touchdown of the game. And that'll be Maurice Harden's first touchdown in the season. The PAT is good for Pacheco. Seven nothing. With a minute and a half with a minute and a half in the half. Pacheco leads it. Angelo Bermudez for the Hawks. Goes to the left side. 35-37 it looks like. Runs out of bounds. Gives the Hawks good field position. A minute and 23 remaining. So let's see if Central Valley still comes out with their running game. They're going to have to hurry up and be quickly if they want a touchdown to even the score. And it's the shotgun formation. Abraham Navarro goes down the middle. Intercepted. Interception by Adam Pick Perez. Up. Going to the right side of the field. 20 yard line. Shoved out of bounds. Amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> Abraham Navarro threw, overthrew his receiver by miles. Picked off by Perez. 
Shoved out of bounds at the 18 yard line. So instead of them evening the score, Pacheco might even have a chance to get 14 to zero. In less than two minutes. Less than two minutes, probably Pacheco will have a possibility of earning 14 points on the field. Central Valley's gonna wanna talk it over as they call a timeout. Last timeout. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Two running backs. And Paul Parks. Parks up the middle for a short gain. That looks like a late hit. But they won't call the penalty, it looks like. Timeout for Pacheco after a two-yard gain by Parks. And I think that was a bad call by the refs. That should have been a, a late hit. He blew the whistle and he still threw him to the ground. Remember of Silent Auction at the front gate. We have autographed helmet from the varsity team and other good stuff. The bidding closes at the start of the fourth quarter. So, Pike is just informed me that Julian's hit was the, what was it? Rick's auto body hit of the game. So remember that. Play action fake. Parks looking. Oh. Ooh. Hunter Mendez with that catch. You know, if you saw, saw that uh, Central Valley defender the ball the was ball. tipped. But Hunter was still still managed to catch it. It looked like the ball hit the ground, but I don't think you'll ever get Hunter Mendez to tell you that. And the refs are calling in incomplete pass, so it'll be second and ten. They're second and eight, my bad. Forty eight seconds to go. Let's see what the Panthers will do. They've got a receiver to the left and a receiver to the right. And it's under center. Looks like he'll be calling an audible. Central Valley showing blitz. They step back. Perez in the end zone, incomplete. Ooh. Very close. Looks like it was deflected by Kendall Johnson. 43 seconds to go. Fourth down and eight. Fourth down. Looks like they'll be bringing on the kicking team to get the score 10 to zero. 39 yard field goal attempt. Splits the uprights and good. A two possession lead for Pacheco.
Drops it. Angelo Bermudez taking it out. Gets rid of two tacklers, and it's going to be a big gain. Finally brought down at the 42-yard line, it looks like. 28.4 seconds to go. The Hawks will try to probably try to attempt a few big plays before the half ends. Abraham Navarro out of the shotgun formation. They look to have four receivers set. Make it five. Looking to the left side, tries downfield. No one there. I don't know who that was attempted to. It looks like the closest person was the referee. <laughs> Out of the shotgun, Abraham Navarro. Pressure by Hunter Mendez. Tipped by a Panther and incomplete. Navarro's pass goes incomplete. So bring up third down for the Hawks. I don't think the Hawks have even completed a pass this whole this whole game. And that may be the reason why they're sticking to the running game early in the game. Pressure by the Panthers. Hunter Mendez. Dropped. Kenny Lopez with the dropped ball. At least he's throwing to someone. Fourth and ten at the eleven. Fourth and ten at the forty-two yard line. Eleven seconds to go. It looks like the Central Valley's offense is still on the field, so they'll probably try to attempt the first down. With 11 seconds to go, they'll they'll be going deep. Pressure on Navarro, scrambling, incomplete pass. Four seconds will be Panther ball. With four and a half seconds, it'll be interesting to see what the Panthers will do. Last play of the half. I'd like to see a Hail Mary. Oh, 
Parks under center. Two wide receivers. Looks for the screen. No. Goes to the right. He's going to be running. And that's the end of the first half. And now a word from our sponsor. And now we're from our sponsor. Rick's Auto Body, serving the West Side's auto repair and detailing needs since 1976. Good luck, Panthers! Remember, folks, tonight is Think Pink Night, where proceeds raised go to the NFL's Crucial Catch Program. Next week, we honor our senior football players with our first football senior night against Patterson. Next week is our Veterans Appreciation Night. Any veteran will receive free admission to the game. Free admission. Now for a special performance tonight, joining the Pacheco Panther cheerleaders, our little Panther Cubs.
And that was a performance by our Panther Cubs. Remember, tonight is Think Pink Night, where pre where proceeds raised go to the NFL's crucial crucial catch program. Next week, we honor our senior football players with our first football senior night against Patterson. Next week is our Veterans Appreciation Night. Any veteran will receive free admission to the game.
close to the end of the half uh, halftime. And now time to present Pacheco's defense since we'll be kicking the ball. Maurice Harden, class of 2015. Anthony Vaz, aka Gonzo, class of 2014, Miano Elementary. My name is Cody, aka Wolverine, uh, class of 2013. Alex Torres Lopez, class of 2014. Guillermo Perez, class of 2013. Robert Burkhart, senior, linebacker, Los Banos Elementary. Frank Gilda, class of 2015. Victor Cortez, class of 2014, Lorena Falasco Elementary. Andrew Hardy, class of 2015. I'd like to review that Pacheco's record in the league is two to one. The two wins is Livingston and Ceres, and their one loss is Central Catholic, which was last week. For the Central Valley, their record is four and two. In the league, they are one and one. I'd like to remind you guys again that Next week, we honor our senior football players with our first football senior night against Patterson. And it, are, it is our ver Veterans Appreciation Night, which means any veteran will receive free admission to the game. Tonight is also Think Pink Night, where all the proceeds go raised go to the NFL's Crucial Catch Program for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Our next two home games will be, well, home games. It'll be against, our next week will be Patterson, then we have bye week, and then the week after that we'll have our very special game, which will be against the Las Vegas Tigers. Central Valley's receiving team is on the field. Start the second half. And Pacheco's kicking team Pacheco is going on the field. Kicking. And we have number 28, Christian Gonzalez, as our kicker. This will start off the second half of the game. Pacheco leads 10 to 0. Kicks it about the 30. Goes up about 10 yards. That is Kenny Lopez. The six foot two senior for the Hawks. Ball on the 40 yard line, first and 10. Two in the backfield for Central Valley. Under center. Good job, good job. 
the give was to Jaquan Gardner for about five or six yards. Burkhart with the tackle. Ball at the 44-yard line. Looks like they'll stick with the run game. Fall start on Central Valley. Five yard penalty. Be second and ten. Under center. Play action fake. Runs into the referee. Going to the right side of the field. And incomplete. Uh, incomplete. Looks like it was intended for Juan Placencia. Not a good way to start off the second half for the Central Valley Hawks. Well, it wasn't a good end to the second quarter either. <laughs> Let's see if they can recover from that. Ball on the 40-yard line, third and 10. Under center, two in the backfield for Central Valley. And it is a pitch to Gardner. Looks like he might pass. He keeps it out of bounds. Goes about seven yards. Short of the first down. Fourth and two, it looks like. Anthony Gonzalez pushed him out of bounds. Fourth down and four. Looks like they marked him back a couple yards. The punt team looks to be coming out for Central Valley. And we have Jazzy or Javon Davis and Maurice Harden out deep to return. Abraham Navarro to punt. Good kick by Navarro. Fumbled by Pacheco. Not a not a whole lot of yards on that pickup. Looks like they'll have the ball at the 11 yard line. First down for Pacheco. Paul Park scrambling for a couple yards. That looks like Raul Godinez with a tackle. Park gets about six yards. It's going to be second and four. Gain of about six yards for Pacheco. They'll have the ball at the 20. Under center. Gindo with the carry. Third and in inches down. for Pacheco. Three wide receivers, it looks like, for Pacheco, and two in the backfield under center. And it is a handoff to Paul Parks. Looks to have the first down. And it is. They'll spot the ball at the 23 yard line. But it looks like the 
26. 27. Jacob Parks getting a couple of yards. Trick play. Look to be tackled by Giovanni Palayo. Parks gets a first down for the Panthers. It'll be first down for Pacheco. Tackled by Cassis. First and 10 Pacheco. On the 38. Couple of Hawks on the tackle. Parks gets about four. Second and six. Four yard gain for Parks. Second and six at the 38 yard line. 42, my bad. Give to Parks. Bulldozing his way. Close to a first down. And they'll give him the first down. First and ten. Balls on the 48 line. Yard line. Jacob Parks lining up under the center. Two in the backfield. Goes deep. Hunter Mendez with a reception. Big game for Pacheco. Thirty-yard pass to Hunter Mendez, number eighty-four. Big play. First and ten at the eighteen yard line. Give his to Parks for a couple of yards. Parks works hard. Gets about five yards. Five yard gain. Second and 13. Second and five. At the 13 yard line. Excuse me. Parks will keep it, looking for the end zone, gets it. And Jacob Parks with that touchdown. Jacob Parks making his third touchdown of the season. By himself. Kick is good. Christian Gonzalez making that kick, who is also a soccer player. Soccer player. 17 consecutive points for the Panthers. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to do it like 
don't have to play every time. You just play once. That is Juan Placencia. Hope I said that right for Central Valley. Giving them good field position close to the 50 yard line. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Abraham Navarro out of the shotgun. Looks to have four receivers on the play. Looking to the left. He Sacked. Hard. Sacked. By number 80, Guillermo Perez. Navarro was blindsided I was, as he was looking to his left. Did not see the defender coming at all. Loss of eight on the play. Second down. Another passing play to the right. Angelo Bermudez with a couple of yards. Trips up by himself. Third and 14 for the Central Valley Hawks. Balls on the 45 yard line. game on the Hawks it's not good for them that's a five-yard penalty It'll be third and 19 third and even longer Ball, balls on their own 40 they got to be a little bit quicker next time Out of the shotgun, Navarro. Looking deep, but stiff arms the defender. Uh, Nobody there. Passing incomplete, and it'd be fourth and 19. Central Valley's punting team will be out in the field. Jazzy Davis and Maurice Harden will be out deep to return for Pacheco. Punt nearly blocked by Pacheco. It'll take a Pacheco bounce to about the 33 yard line. The 
Remember next week, because our veterans appreciation night, every veteran will be a, get one free admission to the game. First and 10 at the 32 yard line for Pacheco. Parks under center. And a flag. Looks like encroachment on the defense. All these penalties against the Hawks. First down and five for the Panthers. First and five. Balls on the 37. Parks keeps the ball hit hard by number 75. But is able to gain some yardage. Tackle by Jose Medina. He manages to get first down for Pacheco. First and first and ten, 43 yard line for Pacheco. Parks under center, two in the backfield. The give is to Gindov with a big run. Nothing. Oh, my. That was a big run. Ginda got me stuttering right there. Tackle by number 42, Nick Van Tuenen. It's a first down for the Panthers. First and 10. The ball's on the, on the Central Valley's 30-yard line. Really close to scoring again. Parks keeps the ball on the option. Ooh. Fumble. Oh, recovered by the Panthers, but a very big loss. Not the play they wanted on a first down. Loss of about 12 yards. Looks to be a timeout for Patrick. I'd like to remind you guys that if Pacheco wins this game and one of the next two games, they have a possibility of making it to the playoffs. And I'd like to remind you guys that I know I said that the next two games, next two games are home, but the last game was actually an away game. But it's at Los Banos, but it's at the Los Banos Stadium, so it was my mistake. Just a small drive across town. Yeah. So it'll be second and 22 for the Pacheco Panthers. Ball's about on the 42 yard line. They have to make it all the way to the 20. Out of the shotgun, Parks. Gives it to Parks, and it's a big play. All he sees is grass. This should be a touchdown. Yep, got it. Touchdown, Paul Parks. 23 0. It should be. And 
that'll be the sixth touchdown from Paul Parks from in this season. Pacheco to attempt the PAT. Kick is good. 24-0 Pacheco. Pacheco kicking off. Small kick. Reco recovered by Ricky Guzman for the Central Valley. They'll start the drive with good field position at the 43 yard line. Navarro under center. Gives the ball to Gardner. Gardner with a big run. Goes out of bounds. Gain of about 20 yards. Probably more than that. Navarro on the shotgun with three receivers it looks like looking to the right side pressure coming to the left and intercepted picked off by Julian Kelly Pacheco's second interception of the game I don't know if the quarterback's code line or anything that was a really good play. Navarro's got to make smarter choices. I mean, you're down by 24. <laughs> Can't be making plays like that. 
in the beginning of the game, I think Ch Central Valley's only worry was to win it. Now their only worry is to at least make a touchdown. So the Panthers will have it at midfield, first and ten. Two in the backfield and three wide receivers. They gave this to Parks with a gain of about seven yards. A minute and a half in the quarter. Give this to Parks again. Look, looks to have the first down. Ball will be placed at the 40 yard line. Give his to Genda for a couple of yards. Tackled by a swarm of Hawks on the play. Second and eight. Pitch to Parks with a good gain. Flag on the play. Tackled by Kenny Lopez. Let's see what this penalty is for. Holding on Pacheco. in that playback. That's too bad. That was a that was a good play. And that's the end of the third quarter. So with 24 to 0, the Pacheco will end the third quarter. And now a word from our sponsor. Rick's Auto Body, serving the West Side's auto repair and detailing needs since 1976. Second and five at the 35 for Pacheco. Park center center, two in the backfield with Perez in motion. Give this to Parks with a good carry still on his feet and finally brought down. Maybe short of the first down. But the refs will give it to him. First and ten at the 30-yard line. Five, 
Ginda comes in for the Panthers. Second and nine for the, from the 29 for the Panthers. Two in the backfield, two wide receivers to the left. And the pitch is to Parks. Finds a hole. Splits defenders for a couple of yards. Still manages to keep that ball in his hand. Looked like a gain of two. And about four. Third and five. Timeout, Central Valley. Timeout, Central Valley Hawks. Where's the baby? She's so cute. Third and five for the Panthers. The give is to Ginda and it'll be close. And a flag on Pacheco. Looks like a late hit. Looks like unsportsmanlike conduct. They'll repeat third down. It's going to be third down and five. They'll call it fourth and one at the 25 for Pacheco. Let's see if they'll get it. All they need is a yard. Probably run it. And it. Yep. That that's close. Mm. Let's see what they'll call it. It's a first down for the Panthers. They're gonna give it first to them. First down. Move the chains. First and ten at the 19 yard line. Ooh. That was a hard hit. Julie Kelly. 
So it'll be second and six for Pacheco. The ball's on the 15. Hand off to Paul Parks. And, and there's, there's a, a late hit on Central Valley. Obvious call. Personal foul. They're down by 24 and they're still not playing smart. So it'll be second and goal. My bad, first and goal. And the ball's on the six. The Un give is to Julian Kelly. Another flag on the play. It's on Pacheco. This one goes against Pacheco. It's a 15 yard personal foul. I'll bring the ball back to the 21. 15 yard penalty. Ball will be placed at the 21 yard line. First and goal. Hunter Mendez with the reception. It looks to be a touch, and they'll give it a touchdown. Touchdown. Hunter Mendez. 30 to nothing, Pacheco. They'll attempt the extra point. Oh, two-point conversion. Failed. Hard hit. Kendall Johnson and Joey Villegas on the hard hit. Still 30 to nothing. Still good. Under eight minutes to play. Panthers kicking team is out on the field. Christian Gonzalez being the kicker. Ball will be ball was carried by Kendall Johnson. And it looks like it'll go about to 43 yard line.
First and 10 at the 43 yard line for Central Valley. Abraham Navarro under center. Gives it off to Gardner. Gardner up the middle for a gain of about of about five. Fumble by Central Valley. Looks like they recovered it. Might have lost some yards on the play. So it'll be third and nine for the Central Valley Hawks. Balls on the 43. 44, 44 yard line. Their offense isn't looking that hot. And barely making first downs. Navarro keeps it on the option. Hit hard by a couple of Panthers. It looks about to be a first down. You'd think they'd be throwing it more. I mean, you're down 30 points, a little over six minutes to go. But they keep it on the ground. First and 10 at the 44. Forty-seven yard line, correction. And a timeout by Central Valley. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Navarro out of the shotgun. Rolls to his left. On the option, gives it to Gardner. And is tackled down by Gonzo. Short of a first down, it looks like. Be second and three. Balls in the 39-yard line. Quarterbacks up in the shotgun formation. Four wide receivers. Gives it to Gardner. Gardner with field ahead of him. Wide open. Still on his feet. And it's a touchdown for Central Valley. Making it their first touchdown of the game. Remember, Gardner was the offensive player of the year for the league. Looks like they'll attempt a two point. My guess is they'll probably run into Gardner. And he rolls to his right. And they get it. Eight, 30 to eight, Pacheco leads. The Hawks, the with eight points. 
So with 5 minutes and 9 seconds left in the game, Pacheco has 30 points and Central Valley has 8. Pacheco will be receiving the ball now. I'm guessing we'll see an onside kick by Central Valley. Yeah, Central Valley probably try to get as much points as they can. They need 22 points. And... Pacheco gets the ball. Pacheco gets the ball with good field position at around the 43 yard line. So I think Pacheco's strategy right now is just to kill the clock. Gives it to Paul Parks. Loses the Bumbles football. Lead. I thought I saw a hawk on it. That would be Pacheco football. So they'll get a couple of yards on the play. It'll be second and about eight. Second Never mind, seven, seven. second and seven. Balls on the 46. <laughs> Gives it out to Frank Ginda. For a couple of yards. Ginda with the carry. Tackle by Garcia. Gains about four yards. Third down and four for the Panthers. Third down for the Panthers at the 50 yard line. They've got to reach the 46. So Julian Kelly with that run managed to dodge about a couple of Central Valley defenders. Gets first down. It's going to be a first down for the Panthers. The ball will be on the 43 yard line or 42. Under four minutes to go. Ginda gets a couple of yards on that play. Second down. At about eight. There's going to be pizza for one dollar. Pizza's one dollar at the snap shack. One dollar. Go get it. The give is to Michael. Michael. 
Yeah, Michael Dumagin. A big game. First down to the Panthers. Looks like they're switching around people in the backfield since Julian Kelly and Michael DeMoggin are in the backfield now. Normally you'd see Paul Parks and Frank Ginda. Ball at the nine yard line, first and ten, or first and goal. Sorry. A fumble. Ooh. Scooped up by Central Valley. It's a good run. It can go all the way. No, it won't. That is number 10, Kenny Lopez. Brought down by number 8, Daniel Marquez. More than two and a half minutes left in play. Let's see if the Hawks can rack up 22 points. <laughs> Navarro looking to the right. Fires deep. And incomplete pass. Just overthrows. Pass to Miko Uti. <laughs> so it'll be second and ten for Central Valley. Navarro looking to his to the middle. Again intended for Uti. Incomplete pass. It'll be third and ten for Central Valley. Under two and a half minutes to go. Navarro out of the shotgun. Goes to the end zone, and that's another touchdown. Three passes in a row to Miko Uti. Finally gets the touchdown he wanted. 30 to 14. That's an impressive 20 yard touchdown pass from Navarro. They'll attempt a two point conversion. It's going to be close, but I don't think he's got it. And they say he doesn't. So with two minutes and 22 seconds left in the game, Pacheco is leading by 30 to 14. And they'll be receiving the ball right now. So let's see how this drive goes.
another onside attempt by the Hawks, and I think they've got this one. They'll have really good field position at the 46 yard line. First and ten. Navarro out of the shotgun. He's got Gardner to his left in the backfield. Looking to his right. Has a man. That's number nine, Kendall Johnson. It goes out of bounds. So it'll be second down. That's a smart play going out of bounds. It'll stop the clock. Johnson with the reception. It's going to be second down in about three. <laughs> So it looks like offside on Pacheco defense. It's a false start. Oh, false start on the offense. Looks like Jeff Reeves moved too early. So it'll be second and eight for Central Valley. Navarro. Incomplete pass. Pass is attended to Kendall Johnson. So it'll be third and eight for Central Valley. Navarro out of the shotgun. Second and eight at the 44 yard line. Looking to his right, steps up, scrambles with the ball, gets, gets out of bounds. First down. Navarro keeps it for a first down. Julian Kelly pushes a lot of bounds. Ball with 32, first and 10 for the Hawks. So with the ball on the 33-yard line, it will be first and 10 for Central Valley. Central Valley looks like they have four receivers. Is that... Navarro throws to Gardner. Tripped up. Pass is complete. The clock keeps on ticking. Central Valley going no huddle. Most likely to be doing the same play again. Navarro steps up. Has pressure. Fires. Touchdown. And touchdown. So, in just four minutes, four minutes, Central Valley has made 20 points. And they'll, they'll be attempting an extra point. Or two, two extra points. As the quarterback lines in the shotgun formation. He stopped at the line. 
But there's flag a flag down on the play. That looks like Burkhart limping. Central Valley will be kicking on the 25 yard line for that penalty against them in the attempted two point conversion. That's Juan Placencia kicking off for Central Valley. And another flag on play. I don't think it traveled enough. Yeah, it's supposed to travel 10 yards from the starting point. Didn't look like it from here. But the flag went up before. False start. False start. So they'll False be box. kicking five yards back. back yeah, closer to the end line. zone. They're kicking from the 20-yard line. So even if they do recover their onside kick they'll, they'll still have a long field yeah, and with little time to go in the game and it's a two possession game and the Panthers expect an onside kick too so easily recovered by the Panthers On Central Valley, looks like number 99 on the encroachment. The encroachment against the Hawks. First and five for Pacheco. <laughs> Balls in 23. And Paul Parks. Big run. Goes down. Able to make a first down. I'd like to point out that and on the sidelines, we have Kalama Komoku back. He's in crutches, and his ankle looks to be wrapped up. Hopefully he's good to play next game. He's a strong running back and a fast one. Flag on the play. That I saw a false start, and I did. Five yard penalty. First and 15. Balls on the 19. And the Panthers only need 
Well, 19 yards to go. The give is to Ginda for a couple of yards. Ginda with the carry. Gave a couple. The clock is running. So there's 20 seconds left in the game. Panthers in a victory formation. And that is the ball game. So there we have it, folks. With 30 points, Pacheco wins 20, 30 to 20. This is Danny Garcia. And Christopher Aranda. And thanks for tuning in. Joining, join us next week as we play against Patterson.
The only thing is, the headphones broke. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Do you need help or... Um, 